Riverfront 2025, a look ahead. That was the name given to tonight's event, detailing all the new and ongoing projects in the continued transformation of downtown Jacksonville. The city groups and local nonprofits involved in the planning process gathered this evening to help everyone understand how the entire community will benefit. On display in Jacksonville's main public library multi-purpose room downtown, placards showing off renderings and videos along with small scale replicas. And the piers are, are the second piece. All walking people through the future look of downtown Jacksonville, including Springfield resident Jess Wheeland. My husband and I joke that it's, we call Jacksonville the city of renderings, but this time that doesn't feel like a joke. It feels like there's real progress happening. Residents citywide were there for an update about the current status and a timeline for all the parks and other projects slated for development on the city's north and south banks. About 25 projects on the riverfront alone. At the end of the day, why does it matter what happens in downtown? Why does that matter to the north side? Why does that matter to Mandarin? It's because whatever we can do here in downtown will bring New jobs, new workforce, new growth, new housing. So many showed up for the free community event. Organizers added more attendees by Zoom to watch the formal presentation. That shows you the series of interconnected large destination parks. Folks at the event got to discuss the plans with the public and private developers, focusing on the future of places like Riverfront Plaza, Shipyards West. River's Edge and Artist Walk, along with information about other developments planned along the St. John's River. Some plans even called for feedback from residents on the spot. Local resident Valerie Bird loves all of it. Oh, the museum, the Mosh Museum, it's absolutely beautiful. We have grandkids, they're going to love it because they love going to the museum. They're going to love it. Look for several more free public informational events like these, possibly once a quarter or once every six months, depending on how much updated information can be gathered and shared with the community.